With the Build Back Better bill stuck in limbo, Democrats are now setting their sights on a different target, voting rights reform. Uh, but they do have to, of course, uh, get on the same page as one centrist Democrat who is actually still saying that this bill isn't quite right yet. Our Joe Khalil is joining us right now from Capitol Hill with more on this. And there were some closed door negotiations. What do we know about that meeting? Well, I can tell you that voting rights in that closed door meeting earlier this week, uh, and, and we've seen basically every day this week, certainly raised as an issue. Uh, Democrats really elevating uh, voting rights now. Uh, you know, earlier in the week, the Senate literally changed its own rules so that it could raise the debt limit with just 50 votes instead of 60 votes. Democrats only. They didn't need Republicans. So now you've got a lot of Democrats, especially Raphael Warnock from Georgia, saying if we're going to do that to save the economy, then why would they not do it, in his words, to save democracy? And again, not every Democratic senator is on board with a drastic move in changing the rules for a voting rights bill. But I can tell you that this week, a lot more have that momentum and are now on board. And this is a conversation uh, that is growing. Look, these calls started months ago when some red states like Georgia, Florida, Texas were uh, crafting new election laws that, you know, they said that Republicans said were uh, meant to stop voter fraud, uh, to, cr to enhance voter ID laws. But a lot of Democrats said that those laws are actually going to make it harder for legal voters to vote. And again, they're talking about this in terms of democracy being at risk. Here's one senator we talked to about it. We said we can't change the rules, but when it was the economy, we changed the rules. Happy hey, birthday. Hey, Marco, thanks. You know, I think uh, protecting our democracy is equally as important, if not more important. Now, some Republicans are saying that this is a power grab by Democrats, and others are legitimately concerned that, again, with Republicans' blessing, the Senate rules were changed earlier this week for a different issue. Some are wondering out loud now, and, and we spoke to a couple who say maybe they've opened a door here. I think it's one of the challenges we created in the way we uh, handled the debt ceiling is this potential precedent. So again, Adrian, as you mentioned off the top, while momentum seems to be growing in, in these conversations, there are specifically two Democrats, and they're going to sound familiar, Joe Manchin, Kirsten Cinema, that have been uh, opposed to this generally, but Manchin hasn't taken it off the table. And I think Cinema is the one that you're going to have to watch uh, if this voting rights thing actually becomes real. She'd be the one whose mind and heart Democrats would need to change. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.